Warmer weather, more of us are heading outdoors, of course, and there's an increased risk of coming into contact with disease carrying ticks. It's a danger not just to you and your kids, but also to your family pet. Here's Tim Miller with some ways to stay safe. Certain types of ticks are common and they're starting to come out as the foliage comes out. It's tick season, so we need to start watching out as we head into our backyards, woods, and even our neighborhood parks. Dr. Jeff Swartz is a family doctor with Mercy Health. He says ticks are a concern because if they bite you, they can pass on any number of diseases. Including probably the most famous is Lyme disease that we hear about all the time. Rocky Mountain spotted fever, ehrlichosis. Um, babesiosis and uh, several other diseases. Lyme disease is the one most well known and for good reason. If left untreated, it can cause all kinds of problems. A tick that's been on the body for more than 36 hours is more likely to cause problems with you because of that saliva that they pass on to you. Lyme disease cases in Ohio have spiked in recent years. According to the Ohio Department of Health, there were only 44 cases in 2010 and 468 in 2019, the last reporting year. That's an increase of 963%. If you start getting uh, fever, chills, uh, joint aches, general malaise, and then a rash, those are all concerns for a tick-borne type disease. So where should you look for a tick on your body, considering they can be the size of a poppy seed, especially when we don't often feel the blood-feeding insect? People always think about the hair first, but it can get on your body in the areas that are warm um, and moist as well. And it's not just you and your kids that are at risk. Dr. Swartz says your pets are also at risk, especially if they spend a lot of time outdoors. Well, this time of year, it's important to check the dogs because not only can they get sick, but there can also be a transmission uh, to humans. Ticks can be found anywhere, but are far more common in brushy areas. So if you're out for a walk in the woods or one of the local parks, there are ways to avoid them. Try and stay in the middle of the paths. Don't go exploring on your own, especially if you know that there might be ticks in the area. We spoke with Kim High, a naturalist with Metro Parks Toledo, who says the parks are home to a variety of ticks, but you should be safe as long as you don't wander off. Ticks are actually a part of the ecosystem, but the parks keep their trails very well maintained. And so staying on the trails is going to keep our public out of ticks. She says for added protection, wear long pants and a lightweight long sleeve shirt. For Family Focus, Tim Miller, WTOL 11. And typically in our area, ticks are at their worst between spring and early fall, with the peak being in May and June.